Welcome back, brewers and beer lovers, to Flying Wombat TV, the channel all about beer, banter, and bloody good times. I'm McKelty, and over here is. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Bit late. Got a sound in here. Oh, so yes, it is a tasting video day. We yeah. are going to be talking about our Raspberry Berliner Weiss, or you know, our first ever sour. Yeah. So fun. let's fill these up and get into it. Cue montage. <laughs> Montage over. Now we're back. We have beer in our glasses, and I'm excited. So, full disclosure. And, oh, I should say first, yeah. like and subscribe. It gives our lives meaning. <laughs> Just do it. It, it makes it makes it these videos work. Yeah, it gives all. Yeah. So, yeah. we are meaningless without the likes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very. We're basically, you know. <laughs> My we will sell <laughs> our bodies for their lives. My self worth is tied to your subscribers. Okay, so, <laughs> so right. truth aside, yeah. um, <laughs> very excited for this. Yeah. And full disclosure, we have actually had this before, unlike a lot of our tasting videos. And that is because a we were very impatient after we yeah. saw how cool this looked, yeah. and b. Uh, it was Christmas. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. We smashed the lager in the other Brew, and, and do, Brew Talk video. Yeah, and spoilers, it was a favourite at Christmas. Massive favourite. Not just favorite. because it's a Christmas colour, because yeah. this one is fucking good. It's a good beer. So, yeah. I reckon... I can't believe. The first hour. Top, top three beers I've ever made, not including this channel and including the channel. So, yeah. Very, very good beer. Yeah. Super happy with it. I can't it. believe it. First ever sour. I know. Yes. I know. And it brewed in the bucket. So I've got all that fancy stainless steel in there, but, you know, the bucket brew was the best one. <laughs> Just goes to show equipment, you know? There is you a can spin. make great beer and, with... And, may, know, and maybe that's a future video. Best equipment. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's another video talking yeah. about how... Know, how worthwhile are certain levels oh. of equipment because if you can make a great beer just in a bucket versus you know a two thousand dollar fermenter you got to put into question how much influence yeah. on the homebrew scale does better equipment play anyway enough waffling another topic for another this. day yeah. <laughs> so oh but smelling off the bat it's like it's oh. just it's just raspberry honestly it just the smell is like if you just grabbed mm. a shitload of raspberries put them in a smoothie and blended them that's what it smells it like it is sweet yeah. It's sweet and sour. Yeah. Sweet and sour. God. There's a reason why that's the best dipping sauce. Yeah, yeah so. literally. Mm. Wasn't it Sauchon? Sauchon. Sauchon sauce. Sauchon sauce. Rick and Morty. That's all about Sichuan sauce, Morty. Uh, no, that, that's Sichuan sauce. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've had a few. We're a bit merry. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, flavor. Raspberries. Wow. Like, yeah. massive punch Straight of raspberries. That. But now, uh, that's what I was like, I don't, I don't know how this was going to turn out, mm. like, colour-wise. Because mm. so I didn't see you put in the raspberries. You... One thing I do regret doing yeah. is not taking out and bottling some of the beer before the raspberries went in. Uh, it would have been, been so good to compare just the Berliner Weiss yeah. as a Berliner Weiss, and then one as the with the raspberries. Really, I'll do that next time. Next yeah. time I make a sour and we do a fruit infusion, I'll take out a sample and bottle some of it before the raspberries go in. So we can do a side by side and see what influence the fruit actually plays. Yeah. But I really wish I did it. But I think, I know that I tasted some samples when I took gravity readings and stuff. It was already a great beer before the raspberries. It was without question a really nice, well fermented, well constructed beer recipe. So it's a shame we can't test it, but you know, is what it is. Yeah. Flavour though, yeah. it, it is raspberries, but it's not like full sweet raspberries. They have fermented, they have finished dry. There is sweetness in the beer without question, but it's not like it's a sugar overload. It's it's sweetness right. without the feeling of sugar, if that makes sense. It's not a cruiser. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's, yeah, a cruiser. it's not like a, you know like what a, a cruiser is. <laughs> I don't know if they're, yeah, do you it's call them cruisers set. in America? I don't know. Maybe. It's not an RTD. It's not like you got like a lemonade with vodka in it. It yeah. doesn't taste like that kind of sweetness. It's definitely beer sweetness, yeah. but it sour is, sweetness. It's the sweetness of a sour. Yeah. So it's 
and I guess we should talk about sourness. We've never had yeah. to talk about that before. That's weird. So weird concept. It's acidic. Do we even know what we're talking about now? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so it is acidic. It has got We've sour. We've had our biases of sours for a long time. I feel like. Yeah, I, 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 I particularly yeah. was quite vehemently against sours for a very, very long time. Uh, I'm, I'm still not the biggest sour fan, to be honest. It's just not yeah. my cup of tea. But sours that are like this, Ooh. that are not super sour, they're lightly sour. So like a Berliner Weiss is a sour beer, but traditionally it's always been one of the sours right on the least sour end of the spectrum. So you've got things like, you know, Gosa's way mm. over here, and then you've got Berliner Weiss's way over here. They're just total opposites. Like a Gosa, you can get some that are almost like stomach acid and they're really sour. But then a Berliner Weiss is typically quite a soft, summery beer. It's got sourness to make it fresh and fruity and, and really sessionable and palatable on a very hot day without feeling like bloated and gross. And, it's, and that's what I kind of love about this particular style of sour. It is a sessional sour. Oh yeah. Like you could drink a few of these. Oh yeah. And it would, it you would... could drink these by the pool all day. Yeah, it'll knock you around right. a bit too yeah. because it's, yeah. it's 5.6%, so <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. light. It's disguised as it's, well. It's, it's a low cool. IPA strength. It's yeah. up there. But it is... Oh, fuck, it's good. So the sour... So <laughs> this... <laughs> Excuse your language. <laughs> <laughs> the sour level is right on the money for what yeah. I like to drink. Some people like more, some people like less. For me, it's perfect. It's sour enough to be called a sour, not so sour that it's like puckering your lips and hurting your tongue and you're kind of like, oh, it's just right. As far as the bitterness goes, mm. I don't know, it's a weird one because the sourness overpowers the bitterness so much, but it is bitter. It's not like there's no bitterness. It does feel like a beer still. I feel like there's more sweetness than bitterness though. But I think, In a way. I think the sourness, yeah acts as sweetness. So I think a lot of the sweetness we're tasting is actually yeah. sourness. You have the bitterness on the tongue a bit. But... It's there. It's yeah. there enough that, you know, it doesn't feel like you're drinking a sweet drink. Mm. It, it's bitter enough to like still stay beer tasting. Like, and when it initially hits really your is. tongue, you get like acidic sourness. Oh yeah. And bit, and oh, bitterness. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then as far as, okay, that so mouthfeel? For, yeah. for, or well, mouthfeel, I guess we have, we'll do mouthfeel yeah. first. So it's, um, it's interesting because if this was fermented with like regular yeast, like say a, a wheat beer yeast or a pale ale yeast, this would be, I'm guessing, very luxurious on the tongue. Like it would be very silky and very soft because this was 50%, I think, or maybe just under 50%, something like that. A shitload of wheat. Most of the grain bill was wheat and it was all wheat and, uh, and like pale ale malt. That's all it was. So... On a normal beer fermented with normal yeast, this would be really, really silky and that velvety. Weeds. Yeah, that but weeds. because it's a sour, the acidity cuts through that. So the mouthfeel kind of feels like a normal pale ale, I want to say. Just with that sourness. Just with it's sourness. It's smooth, it's easy. Yeah, but it doesn't nice. feel like, like, a, like yeah. a German wheat beer, yeah. like a French yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. doesn't feel like silky. It just feels like a normal beer. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you need that balance because without all that wheat, if that wasn't counteracting the sourness, it would probably attack your tongue. Yeah, mouth feels great. Yeah, yeah. it's good. It's, it's perfect. It's on the money. Yeah. And then the flavor, like the, the dominant flavor is oh. obviously raspberries. Yeah. Like that's that's a given. But I'm trying to think of like <laughs> what the hoppiness is outside the raspberry. It's hard to detect, but it's vaguely... I don't even know how to talk about sours. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a weird it's a, one. This is a weird video. This is like... <laughs> One of the it's few like times. A virginity game. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you saying you popped your raspberry? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yes. <laughs> My raspberry got popped, <laughs> and he didn't like it. <laughs> oh, I laughed. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Odin's spin-off series. He'll talk about pretzels and his virginity. <laughs> <laughs> but. Oh it is, <laughs> it's, it's hard to find the other flavors yeah. behind the raspberry, but it tastes vaguely citrusy to some level. That's all, honestly, I can really detect. Yeah. It's like, it's got beer, beery flavor, and it's got kind of a citrus thing going on outside of the souring effect. And then other than that, two big things really just are raspberries and sour. Mm. Like that's really the dominant thing there. But as far as anything I would change, 
Oh, I mean, he, 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 he already wants to brew another batch. That's how we like. Yeah, I, I we brewed really... it in a bucket, so we need more. Mm. <laughs> Gotta keep that bucket. That's a good bucket. That's a good bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'll change. Yeah. I would actually. This is one of those occasions where I don't know. I really, genuinely don't know enough about this topic it's, yet it's, to have. It's, yeah, it's kind of more the thing you kind of want to do in a kettle sour. Is that like? That is probably, yeah, yeah, you're right actually. So, there's generally speaking two types of sours. I know the video's yeah. going long, sorry, I'll get through it quick. <laughs> two types of sours normally. You've got a fermented sour, which is what this is, where basically you infect your batch with your uh, lactobacillus um, bacteria mm. inside the fermenter, and inside the fermenter it gets sour and the pH drops. The other type is a kettle sour, where you infect your batch after you've mashed in. You leave it for one day, getting infected and letting the pH drop, and then you boil it and add your hops and everything. So then it's it killed off all the living bacteria there, and then you ferment it as normal. Those are generally the two types. What we did was a fermented sour. I would love to do a kettle sour of the exact same recipe, and just see what the difference is. Yeah. I, I, I would love. I'm not going to change a thing. I just want to make the exact same thing, kettle sour it, and then do one against the other. Which do we like more? Segue into our dad jokes. We're gonna finish with dad jokes today. Is so. it scullable? Is it scullable? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I would not mind scullable this one. Alright. Well, what? First, first, the first think, person to laugh. First to laugh. First to laugh. Does a smile count or is it first laugh? Laugh. Audible. Okay. It's gonna be an audible. <clears throat> okay. The first audible sound out of your mouth is the loser. Okay. That's the skull. <clears throat> okay. So it's, this is serious. You could lose on the first joke. Are we filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was explaining it to them. I thought you were explaping it to me. <laughs> I was. Okay. All right. Oh, I want yeah. a drink. <laughs> yeah, I got to wait. Yeah. Who, who wants to throw the first punch? You want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Oh, okay. <sighs> My New Year's resolution is to procrastinate. I'll start tomorrow. I thought this was meant to be sour related jokes. No! All of my jokes are sour related. <laughs> <laughs> is that oh you laughed! <laughs> no, you laughed. <laughs> we got we're on the okay. wrong memo. It's here's, bad here's, jokes. Here's the problem. It's bad jokes. Here's the problem yeah. with this challenge. The second you're told not to laugh, you start smiling. Alright. Well, I've already got my sour jokes here, so I'm it's... gonna keep going. I'm gonna push with okay, the sour. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, alright, my turn. Okay. My grandma has a really crazy idea about an apple that's sour and way better than any other apple. But we just call that Granny Smith. Okay, fine. You hold it in, you hold it in. Alright, alright. So mine's a proper dad joke. I like this one. Uh, when I was a kid, my social network was uh, called Outside. What? I don't know if I get that. The bad joke. That's a terrible bad joke. Them you don't get. That's a special joke. All right. Why does sour milk smell funny? Why? Why? Because it turns into a cheesy joke. Have you smelt sour milk? Have you smelt you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you laughed. <laughs> no, 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 you laughed first. Okay, we need to go. We need to go. You laughed. That was you first. That was that hundred percent. That's not even a joke. I, it was my joke. I got you. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do you want to do you want to take your skull or do you want to play on? Oh, I think we play on best of three. Best of three. Your best of three. Like okay, fine. All right. All right. Fine. No, no, one, one, okay, no, okay. no. Best out of three. If I laugh again. Shout out to grandma. That's the only way she can hear. Okay. What do you call an EMT with a sour attitude? What? Lemon aid. That's not bad. It's a pun. What do you call security guards working outside Samsung shops? Guardians of the Galaxy. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Why are lemon juice and vinegar so sour? Why? Because they keep tripping acid. That's good. Why well, can't... I can't believe I got fired from the Calibut factory. All mm -hmm. I did was take a day off. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> You get the harder it is to remember not to make a no sound. Oh, damn it. Okay, alright. Deciding point then. I'm gonna bring out the big guns. Alright, alright, alright. You want a Christmas theme joke? This yeah, is one of go my favourites. Okay. Go, go. Why is Santa's sack so big? Why? He only comes once a year. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we got him! <laughs> Welcome to steal it. <laughs> all right, start all sculling, right, boy. Right, 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 right. Yeah, and while he sculls oh. for the second mm. tasting video in a row, I will take us out. Mm. Thank you very, very much, Just everyone. Like that is. Santa. <laughs> 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 uh, you've got to buy me dinner first. Ooh. Thank you, everyone, very much for those of you who are still watching so far. Um, you know, any questions, comments, drop them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys have any ideas on what we should brew next or what kind of other videos we should do. Let us know, because we want to make videos that you guys want to watch. So, as always, brew on, guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That's scullable. It's scullable. <laughs>